Ken is my It isn't your thing. thing. It isn't. You're like that guy that has a fantasy football team and thinks he's a fucking GM. No. Bill Burr was on Bill Maher's podcast, and I cannot wait to share some of these clips with you. I actually watched this full episode. It's about an hour and a half. I was only able to stomach an hour and a half of Bill Maher because Bill Burr was on roasting him the entire time to his face. So this is a portion of the conversation where they're going to get to a discussion around the campus protest. And I think it's important, you know, you've seen my coverage, maybe, maybe you haven't, of uh, what's been going on and all the, all the, the bullshit propaganda around trying to demonize these protests. But it's important to get Which to that protest? as you'll see what I Burr's response is. Is it the protest of the Palestine thing? I don't know. What's been going on and all the, all the, the bullshit propaganda around trying know. to demonize these protests. But it's important to get to that as you'll see what Burr's response is. But here is where that portion of the conversation begins. I would had a rough night in Boston once where oh, yeah. I, can I see was that. the headliner. I can see you not having a good time in Boston. I can see them going. That was a long time ago. Dude, you have, you have, this is a hacky reference, but you totally have the energy of you forgot to give out the homework assignment, Mrs. So and so. Boston, uh, you may have heard, is a college town. There's quite a few intellectuals there. The audience that's very sophisticated, they like my show. Okay, we all have our niche. Oh, God, you're so fucking highbrow. Well, it's. Oh, true. does your shit jokes float above ours? <laughs> a little bit. It is incredible how much of a jackass <laughs> Bill Maher is. There is a portion there where even, you know, I was watching this and I thought, oh, Bill Maher is just joking. You know, he's going to crack a joke after he says, you know, the smart people like my jokes. But no, he is making a serious point. <laughs> he wasn't joking. He was just being an unbearable jackass. So I had to show that because that gets to, you know, Bill, Bill Burr here is, is sort of, you know, this is part of his comedy as well. He's, he's kind mm -hmm. of like a, a funny everyman, but he is legitimately hilarious. And I think a lot more intelligent than Bill Maher is. And that becomes even more clear when they get to some of these serious issues. But this is where that conversation goes. I have a love affair with the Boston audience. We are like this because they're just very smart. What can I tell you? I, I know you hate to hear that. But, no, it uh, just sounds, but like, this you, was you, like, it in, sounds like you have a gig coming up in Boston and the tickets are a little slow. No, they're never <laughs> slow in Boston. Never slow in Boston. But um, Do you perform in Cambridge? Cambridge. That's where Harvard is. For a guy like you, I know that. that's got to be the Taj Mahal. I love that that I hate you. Harvard. Are you kidding? Have you heard what's going on on college campuses these days? I don't watch the news. You don't realize that college campuses erupted with the kids demonstrating for Hamas? They are in with the terrorists? Oh, they, they were for the Palestinians. Well, it's sort of the same cause. <laughs> so he's basically saying that ho ho almost, almost that homos again. Humus? is uh, the same as Palestinian people. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so if you're saying that, mm. then don't pretend that you are separating those two because they are, but they're not. Mm. Like, because sometimes they say, they're saying, yeah, I know we care about civilian Palestinians dying, you know? Yeah, but if they get bombed in the process, it's okay. It is what it is. Yeah. That's that's yeah. their uh, mm. thing that they go by. Mm. But then here, he's also saying, pretty much saying that Hummus is the same as the Palestinians. Yeah. So if you truly think that, then mm. don't stick with that. Don't change that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Watch the news. You don't realize that college campuses erupted with the kids demonstrating for Hamas, they are in with the terrorists. Oh, they, were, they were for the Palestinians. Well, it's sort of the same cause. <laughs> Why, are you? Um, I'm on the side of the kids. Yeah, that's easy to say. You know, no one wants to see kids dead. Uh, but if they had to, to you this know. Is, but they yeah. still have yeah. to go. <laughs> right? Yeah. This is a war. No, I'm the one who's kid here and there, you uh, know. It's, oh, it's, pat it's, yourself on the back. It's easy to say I'm for the kids. Who's not for the kids? Well, it I don't comes understand. Down Obviously, to real not hard decision. Yeah. <laughs> like no, a country, stop talking like you're a general. A country got attacked. Look at the level of propaganda Bill Maher is spewing here. College kids arguing like the way he the way he has to phrase. Okay, they got attacked. But how long is this retaliation gonna last? Yeah. Fucking a year? They got attacked once mm. in a day, right? These guys gonna go on for a year? Yeah. How is Longer. that? It's been going on for ages. Yeah, I know, but you know, they just that. now tightened the string, you know. Yeah. So, but, but how long are you gonna go? You know. 
We're gonna go until we say it's over. They're gonna go when it's wiped out, when there's no life left. Then it's gonna go. Oh. What the college protests are about. The college protests are protesting against an ongoing genocide. Also, also, they, they you know, the I people running the country, they speak as if they, they know exactly where the Humus people are. You know, yeah. like we haven't catched them yet. But if you knew where they are, you would be able to take care of the business. Of course. Right? Of course they know who, where they are. No, but, but, now, uh, yeah. mm. but you know, if they did know yeah. where they were, then but just not go in and yeah. take good care of it and get out. But they're right? not interested in solving the conflict. I know. But it's like a double thing here because they say we have to keep doing this until they're all gone. Mm. That implies that you know where all of them are, right? Mm -hmm. How else can we know wh when you know how when to stop, right? Yeah. So, ah, this is all insane, man. They're protesting against an ongoing apartheid, which has been going on even prior to the genocide. This is right in line with protests on college campuses against South African apartheid, protests against the Vietnam War, protests against the Iraq War. Yet Bill Maher is on the side of killing a civilian population. He's on the side of ethnic cleansing. And is excusing it because, oh, there has to be a response. A response that kills the civilian population. Mm -hmm. Like, these numbers are out of date. This is uh, as of January 3rd. But look at the proportion here. The only number that has increased since January 3rd is the orange is the Palestinian, Palestinian fatalities. Israeli is in purple. At what point do you think this is enough? What number is going to be acceptable for Bill Maher? And even these numbers that are more up to date at 35,000 Palestinians, even these are out of date. This is as of, I believe, early March because there no longer is the infrastructure in place in Gaza to... Yeah, I, I, you know, how are you going to measure this? Mm. It yeah. sounds crazy in itself mm -hmm. right but if you do if you do if you are gonna do this mm -hmm. you're gonna go by numbers right mm -hmm. so yeah if you're gonna go from by an eye for an eye that sounds like eight times the eyes yeah. you know mm -hmm. eye for an eye times no more ten times or something more you know what i mean is this because they do think that one I person is worth like 10 or 15 other people. Maybe. Do they Believe. say that? I don't know. Convey to, to, to they to act that way. Happening. It feels like. And of course, almost half of them children. It's just like the, the conversation here. I don't think Bill, this is my assumption. I don't think Bill Burr even meant the college or even meant the, the children in Gaza when he said the kids. I think he meant the college kids. That he's on the side, when he said he's on the side of the kids, I think he meant the college kids in the, the protest. But Bill Maher's guilty conscience goes immediately to the kids in Gaza because that is the result of what he is supporting. So look, I'm trying to have fun here. but Because this this really was fun to watch Bill Burr cut through Bill Maher. But it, it's just hearing hearing the kind of shit Bill Maher is spewing on, on a regular basis now it's it's just uh it, it it's depressing that somebody who is this much of a sociopath has the platform that he has but uh let me continue there's a few more clips here and they do get more enjoyable as uh bill burke continues to roast mar israel got attacked i'm not saying that they didn't have a right to go back i'm just sitting there going like how do i look at the, what the only country in the world that uh, they get attacked and then as soon as they counterattack, it's like well we got to stop that's this not shit a counterattack. it's a fuck. continuous attack yeah. It's not, it's a, not counter. a counter. It's a ongoing, yeah. uh, you know, uh, mm. what is it? Subscription yeah. model mm. that never, uh, you know, cancels. Counter attack. It's like you give a punch, I give a counter punch. Yeah. We're even now. Mm. Huh? Counter. And also, you know, you also have to say this that to give a uh, to give a counter attack, you also need to be attacked. I'm, I'm not. Sure that. sure that that is exactly what happened. Yeah, I think it's fishy <laughs> that <laughs> all of the security just went down mm. in that exact, listen, in that yeah. exact moment. Yeah. 
Think that about amazing. The, think about how the probability of that. Okay, in the moment the supposed Humus people were, you know, planning to come with these what is it? These fucking parachute yeah. things and all of that yeah. stuff. In that very moment, the world's most advanced defense system went down. Yeah. In that moment that they were planning to do all of these things, ah. Mm -hmm. oh, and that's when yeah. the the security went down. Amazing. Do you know how slim of a odds that is that come on man? We ain't stupid, okay? Act them is a very simple solution to all this problem in the Middle East. Stop attacking Israel. Hey, you Stop attacking it. Israel. You just I did. solved it. I actually there you did. Go. That's fantastic. <laughs> anyway, so let's, we don't need let's, to let's get let's onto go. that. Let, let... <laughs> <laughs> you just saw the <laughs> great in the Middle East. Stop attacking Israel. You stop just attacking it. Israel. You just I did. It. I actually did. That's fantastic. Anyway, all right. We let's, don't need let's, to get let's onto go that. To, let, let's go to Russia and uh, the Ukraine. How do you solve that one, Bill? <laughs> Let me hear your hard-nosed decision about that. Uh, fun to see Bill Burr cut through Mar at the end there. But this Mars point about oh, there's a very simple solution here. Stop attacking Israel. So allow Israel to continue occupying. The West Bank and, and Gaza allow them to continue dominating a civilian population, allow them to continue controlling the food, water, air, electricity of an entire population. This goes to how broken Bill Maher's worldview is, where he views all of this through religion. This is not about religion. This is about a government dominating Palestinians, having full control, having separate sets of rights for Palestinians versus Israelis. Like, it, it is just... And ultimately, so I think also, quickly, is that Bill Maher probably has a view of these Palestinians for whatever reason, be it that they are Muslims or whatever it is. I don't know. Mm. He probably sees them as stupid. Yeah. And probably sees the I people as smart. Mm. And therefore, when you can see a group of people as stupid, you don't care as much yeah. what happens to them. Exactly. And that is, a, <laughs> unfortunately, that is a human thing. Mm. We don't, we don't care for stupidity. Human. I don't care so much about the sheep that maybe I should, you know. What is it? The sheep. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care so much about them because I consider them stupid. Yeah. So when we think some some people are stupid, mm -hmm. we don't care what happens to them. Mm -hmm. I think that's the case with Bill. Hard Mar. for me to comprehend that. Now I'm not saying they are stupid. I think no, no, he no. thinks he, they yeah. are stupid mm -hmm. because of whatever the reason may may, may be. That ha that have access to the knowledge, and I'm sure is aware of the occupation, even if he wouldn't call it an occupation. I'm sure he's aware to be aware of all of that and simply not care. And this really goes to a deep-seated racism. This is, this is about xenophobia. This is about um, an, an anti-Arab sentiment. Because there is no other possible explanation for why you would not care about 30,000 civilian deaths. Let me go on. Uh, I promise this will get more fun. <laughs> But it's it's just it's so it's so depressing to hear Bill Maher's absolute trash. Like you just solved the Middle East on a podcast. Why can't they solve what they're doing on a podcast? See, make this some, is why this is not your thing. Make, make, this make is some my, hard noise. It's just my it's not your thing. It's what you. It is my. It isn't thing. your it thing. Isn't your it isn't. Your thing. You're like that guy Plain that has a fantasy football team no, and thinks no, he's no, a fucking no, GM. No. No. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Like, why am I fucking listening to you? Like, like you've done something. What have you done in Washington? Nothing. This is the best part. Of this entire thing and you know it, it god he goes from just clowning bill maher about how oh, you just solved the middle east on a podcast to uh comparing him to a fantasy football gm the perfect description of bill maher that really has to you know make those hard-nosed decisions he knows what to do you gotta gotta get those children that's 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 what you gotta do that's how you solve this just stop attacking israel there problem solved what a fucking fucking clown all right <laughs> let me get to the last clip here this is from a, a separate part of the podcast, but this, I just want to share this because Bill Burr here sounds like he actually gets annoyed uh, at Bill Maher, and uh, it's it's just a fun watch. But there's always something in every business, like Amazon or fucking Walmart, they're always trying, you know, let's open up across from this mom and pop and put them out of business and we'll be the only showing them. Like, 
That There's just with, always people doing that. So that to do with hiring a guy who just had a big hit movie to do another hit movie. Because if you want to take over the world, streaming service has <clears throat> devalued art. Where back in the day, you used to pay ten bucks to go see a movie. Now twenty bucks, you get all. You get all the movies. About what six, I'm talking we're about. Talking about you ask me a question. I'm trying That's to fucking true. answer. Mm-hmm. We're talking about success. The movie. Why has, don't you just tell me what it is rather than ask well, the, me? The movie has, <laughs> I'm asking because I don't understand. This was maybe the most relatable part of this conversation because we all know someone like this who asks a question. Hold on, did you hear what I said? Uh, that's absolutely true. Like exactly. back in the days, you 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 paid ten bucks or something yeah. or whatever for for one movie. movie. Yeah. Now you pay twenty bucks and you get every yeah. movie for a month or whatever. Forever. Ah, uh, twenty yeah. bucks a month. Subscription. Like, yeah. Yeah. Question. And then can't wait to cut you off to answer their own question. <laughs> it's just, this really goes to the heart of who Bill Maher is. All he cares about is himself. He has, there's another part of the, of the discussion where um, Bill Maher asks him, have you ever told someone you're sorry or ever admit you're wrong? <laughs> and, and Bill Maher claims he has. I, uh, hard I would love to yeah. see an example of that. I, that, I have, <laughs> that, is not, that is not who Bill Maher is. Bill Maher is... He has his opinion and he is right and you can't convince him otherwise regardless of all the information you give him he is going to sit there and that's be, a big uh, problem just and, and tell you why he's correct and why he's smart and why smart people like him god how can anybody possibly watch bill maher unless bill maher is sitting across from someone like bill burr this was a good watch you know i would recommend you watch it the whole thing but it is on bill maher's channel so i don't know if you want to give him the views but that if you want to give yeah. him if you don't Better, care about man. That, yeah. i mean it already has that's like half a million joke. views it's it's feather man. He's like a bird. <laughs> I'm the feather man. Yeah, but that was good. That was good. Yeah. What did I say? Uh, although I don't agree with their policies, but Iran's attack was a counter attack. Yeah, but now there will be probably full on attacks back and forth with the Iran president. Thing. We'll see.